Hello everyone. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, actually, I'm switching uh, from regular oil filter to a synthetic oil filter for my V8 5.7, and it just when I pulled out this old, after one year being used in a in my V8 vehicle, uh, the the filter looks very rough. You know what I mean? I just like. I don't think it's a good idea keeping a factory filter or even says factory recommends, you know what I mean, up to one year. I'm switching to see full synthetic, you know, full synthetic oil filter. The quality, it's a softer material, has a rubber O-rings on top to prevent from leaking, while factory, well, it's a hard plastic on top. So, and, uh, and actually the outside or the where this surface contact is same as as a full synthetic or synthetic oil filter by M soil. So let me get underneath the vehicle and I will show you more details actually uh, how it well actually here's the filter oil filter housing and it fits in just perfectly. You know I just did just a perfect fit right there. As you can see, it's definitely because I tried underneath, underneath the vehicle, and it's just a perfect fit. You know what I mean? It doesn't get any better than this. So let me show you how to install a full synthetic, and why I use, <coughs> why I chose full synthetic, because uh, quality of the synthetic oil filter is much better than the factory. It filtrates better, easier to flow when it's cold because this surface material is soft versus factory hard so when it's cold it takes much longer so it bypasses when it won't well it's really cold it bypasses the uh, oil a lot of oil bypasses the filter and I'm using 100% synthetic oil with my vehicles uh, because full synthetic is not synthetic as you probably know by this now if you watch my previous videos because regular oil or any oil they start with some kind of base oil it's either synthetic base oil or they start with uh, uh, comes from crude oil very basic regular oil so group one two and three are oils base oils comes from crude four and five are synthetic so there is a reason why companies label their oil is a full synthetic and it's not 100% synthetic so there's a difference there's only few companies make 100% synthetic so and since 1999 companies are allowed to take to use group 3 highly refined oil as a base oil and label it as full synthetic oil and they can get away with us and a lot of people think they're getting the you know three times better protection but in reality you just get in a, a three times markup of just a crude oil you know what I mean so I would so there you go The ease of installation, how easy that is. <coughs> so I'm gonna tie this bolt up and torque it this to don't over torque it, just make sure it's just tight enough. Because the O rings that what keeps it from leaking it. Uh, this is uh the 5.7 V8 is the Euros 5.7 V8 not sure if you can see or not and um, the pressure gauge by the way the pressure gauge on uh, inside that shows the pressure when it's cold it goes up uh, beyond the middle it actually went down much quicker uh, to the middle than than it used to be with the regular Toyota oil filter so definitely uh, synthetic is synthetic oil filter is much better quality and it actually uh, allows to filtrate for the oil to be uh, allows for the oil to be filtrated versus unfiltered under high pressure when it's cold to bypass the filter. So synthetic is definitely a big option. It doesn't take that long for it to warm up to start filtrating because it's softer media and it just filtrates. And if you like, take a look at this uh, pressure gauge on my. Uh, sequoia with M soil synthetic oil filter. Take a look at the oil pressure gauge on this Sequoia. 
you see how the pressure went went up and how quickly it stabilizes and uh, here's the temperature 50 degrees so this is the current mileage on the vehicle hopefully you guys can see it so it should be dropping now <coughs> slowly because synthetic uh, media in the filter itself it's it's different versus uh, non-synthetic so it filtrates oil much quicker and easy, easier for the oil to push through synthetic versus non-synthetic so right there as you can see it's it's already dropping slowly versus non-synthetic will stay longer and uh, take, to take a look at the the clock the time so it's only less than a minute I think passed by so definitely uh, improvement plus it filtrates oil better so as you can see what it started it was like three quarter now it's it's less than three quarter of a pressure so as well warms up you know what I mean it's it's not like it's 70 80 degrees outside see it's slowly dropping Even though the the water or the temperature or the antifreeze, it's still cold. You can see transmission, and it's still running. So it's definitely worth switching. Right there, you know what I mean. Look at the time, 36. So it's about a minute. In a minute, so it's pretty much uh, it drops to normal. So definitely provides a better protection instantly, at most, and it filtrates oil versus bypassing it when it's cold when it's cold it usually does not filtrate so this is as you can see pressure drops means it's it's filtrating it's going through the oil or, or oil is going through the oil filter right there you see the so definitely a big improvement worth worth spending money if you are planning to keep in your vehicle for a long time and and personally I think engine responds a little bit it responds better because you don't have that uh, you know losing that energy on pumping oil uh, that's my personal opinion and what I have noticed you know what I mean so see right there so now it's about two minutes past and oil is stabilized and however but any freeze temperature have not reached the normal level and I would never get that, that kind of uh, fast response with a regular OEM oil filter don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enjoy